go to school and go. Teacher is your teacher. I say when you go to university, lecturer is your teacher. When you go to work and go, government is your teacher. I say when you go to university, lecturer is your teacher. Hello, Daddy. You're welcome. Thank you. That was a beautiful performance out there. Happy 76th birthday. We pray for more strength and more gigs. <laughs> well, we thank the Most High for everything. Um, I wanted to know about your plans for the future. Um, you know, the future is always uncertain, but we have a vision, you know, way forward, and preparations, you know, making towards, uh, let's say, the unknown. But since we, the Almighty has endowed us with um, the gift of life and everything, we always hope for the best. And uh, I see, you know, light at the end of the tunnel because, you know, the, the way our music is being um, reviewed in Europe and America and so on, you see that uh, um, it's opening a lot of doors. You know, and things like that. So, um, hopefully, um, the name is going to be bigger than the way it is now because it's just like a flower. You know, when it grows at a certain time, you know, it has to bear fruits, bear flowers, and, you know, get ready for the sun. So, I know um, the best is yet to come. And uh, I learned you have a, a tour ahead, and can, can you take us through um, the tour a little bit? Yeah. Um, we want to tour last year and uh, we're making preparations for uh, May, June uh, because tours are lined up, you know, going for an European talk in connection with uh, Norway, Sweden, Germany, Holland, France, you know, Poland and all that. So it means that we're going, yeah, we're going way far, way forward. And um, um, we've been there before and we're going back to. Uh, we're making preparations because uh, some they come, they listen to your music, they record your music. Uh, they want to see if we come back, you're going to play the same music or it's going to be different. So we also know that. So we're just getting ourselves uh, prepared for that. You know. That's beautiful. And please, uh, about the high life music. Uh, there's a notion in town that high life has changed into Afrobeat. And Afrobeat is high life. Some people are complaining high life is not our, uh, Afrobeat is not our own. It's for the Nigerians. Some are also saying high life is not our own. Daddy, what is actually the high, what is the real high life music? And it's high life originally ours or from our, our sisters, the Nigerians. Well, it can be for Nigerians. Uh, high life is, or you know, originated from Ghana. But you know, beginning it wasn't directly Ghana because uh, it's West Africa. Uh, you know, um, apart from the white man coming to uh, demarcate uh, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Liberia, uh, Sierra Leone, and all those, we are one people. You know, he. Uh, divided us to say that oh, I'm a Sierra Leonean or I'm a Liberian or I'm a Cote d'Ivoire and all the kind. No, we are people. So some of the seamen that were coming to Ghana, you know, from Liberia, Sierra Leone, things like that, you know, all of them have high life, high life connotations. And they were expressing it, you know, because we're one people when we meet sometimes, um, you know, on the palm wine and things like that, you know, we drink, we share ideas and we start to play music for us all. So, uh, regimentally, uh, the high life is based on OCB. That's why our brothers that went to Europe took OCB and other SA, you know, OCB, SA, you know, to, to become OCB SA, but it's OCB. OCB is based on So when you hear that, even without guitars and things like that, it motivates you to dance. So that's the, the, the basics of her life. Then they started adding the guitar to it. When our brother from Liberia, Ceylon, and all that. Then Yaponsa originated out of that. So Kwame San and uh, all those, you know, started, you know, fumbling and, and things like that with it. And uh, 
they went to Europe, recorded the first Yam Ponsan and things like that. So uh, it's mainly Ghana. Because Fela was always telling Nigerians that, hey, you want to know music, go to Ghana. You know, so the origination of her life is typically Ghana. When the World War and everything came in, now because of uh, military instrumentations like a trumpet, saxophone, and they started adding it, you know, to the CD and the guitar. And so uh, it started the broadening it out and things like that. But her life is originated, you know, is basically Ghana. Uh, the branches became Nigeria because. When you listen to Fela's Afrobeat, there's her life in it, you know. You listen to uh, Congolese music and things like that, there's her life in it. Because her life has two connotations. Ko, 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 to, 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 that's the male. Ta, ko, 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 ta, ko, ta, ko, ta, to, that's the female. So it has the male and the female. So every dance music has these two connotations in them. So her life is going to end. What do you have to say to the young ones who are, I interviewed some few ones, they were like, they, were, they are trying to do high life, but they, it seems they are doing Afrobeat, and they are complaining that high life uh, isn't taking us anywhere, that's their uh, mind, and then what do you have to say to those who want to pick up the high life music and also continue the legacy that you've left? You know, music is a language. You know, you have to know the language because if somebody says her life is not taking this anywhere, it means that they don't know her life. The era that they were born came in, now they started the Afrobeat, you know, listening to Fela and things like that. Fela came with Afrobeat. Now the boys have added S to make it Afrobeat and things like that. What is the background? What is the background? There's no background. Because they don't know music, they say Afrobeat. Now I'm doing Afrobeat. If you ask them where did Afrobeat come from or how it originated, they don't know. You know, our time we learned what we call music, the rudiments of music and all the compositions, uh, arrangements and all that. So we knew what it would do because our ancestors or our elders left us with that. So we also took it and started, you know, uh, experiment, experimenting with that. So we know exactly what it is. But the younger ones, they don't know music. Now everything is computerized. When anybody gets computer, uh, because there's a bass line, a guitar line, and then they start filling with it. And listen to somebody speaking and they start a copy. That is the reason why most of the Ghanaian uh, upcoming singers and rappers are copying Nigerians. Because Nigerians are authentic. When you hear Nigerians sing, you can hear it from his tonation, his language, and everything. We we sing in patois. We copying the Jamaicans and things like that. You are copying. So who is original? You know, if you listen to music coming from uh, Senegal or, or Mali, and things, you see that they are authentic to themselves because it's their language, their country music, and things like that. But we were copying, and we said that we want to take, uh, we want to get Grammys and all these kind of stuff. It's a joke. So the younger ones, if they want to know music, they have to learn the rudiments of music. They have to ask questions from the elders. So the elders will show them the direction and the way to go. But if they want to do it by themselves and things like that, well, you build in a house, you don't have the basics. You know, if the base is not strong, the house will fall. So that's what the kids are doing. So that the, what, what is the best way forward? Because we are losing the identity as hi high life. And then we are all very into Afrobeat and dancehall and all of that. Uh, what is the best way forward? What should the media do? What should the elders do? What should the children do to grow high life? The elders and the children have to share together. Like uh, workshops, you know, seminars and all that so that knowledge can be passed on you know if that thing doesn't happen it means that they won't have the basis of what they are doing because uh that is what is missing you know the older musicians are not showing the younger musicians the way and the younger musicians are not asking the older musicians the questions and things like that so there's there's a loophole 
in between. And it hasn't been going on for a long time. That is the reason why uh, many things that are going on, the younger ones don't have a direction. The older ones have become uh, what we call it that um, each for himself and God for us attitude. And so, that. so it has affected the music, you know, uh, uh, the growth of music in Ghana. Because when Baba Mal and Yusho and Angel Kido, when they come, man, they f white people, they form a queue to go and listen to them. You know, when you hear Ghanaians or somebody, Ghana rapper and things like that, or going to in London or going to America and things like that, it is the Ghanaians over there that have invited him to come. Our tour that we're going uh, May and June is the white people that have invited us. When we go, it's the white people that form like to come and listen to us. So that is the difference. And if I tell them, they think that uh, uh, I'm not being fair with them. You know, I saw some boy. I said that uh, you had a collaboration with Sean Paul. Sean Paul is a Jamaican. Sean Paul he grew up speaking Patois. When you have a collaboration with him, Sean Paul sang Patois and things. When he finished, some boy came you to your singing Patois and then, so who is copying who? Because we have a broken English. We have a language, so if you use that, they will know that this is different from what they are doing in Jamaica. But we are copying instead of becoming original. So the 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 uh, the link that is missing is we're not sharing ideas. We're not doing workshops. We're not doing seminars to pass on because the thing is called show business. The business aspect we have to teach them because that we're going to put money in your pocket. People do music, record music, and things like that. They don't get money out of it because they don't know the business aspect. So they lose the money. You know, the only time they make money is when they go play shows and things like that. So how many times you play? You uh, record and things like that. You know. When every of the song is used in every country, you are paid. You know, so that is missing. And we can all do, bring that together through workshops and seminars. And I don't know why they keep misunderstanding you when you are trying to put them on the path. Is it because they think they know too much or um, time has changed so they'll say you, you are Kolo? Well, they're saying that but they also see me going on tours. So if I'm Kolo, why am I going on tour and they are still sitting down here? See, something has to tell them, you know. So uh, being a senior elder in the business, I started before you. So I know the way. So if I'm talking, all that you need to do is you have to come and ask questions. Oh, Mr. Amule, why are you saying this? What is the reason for saying this? Then I can tell you. Then you can add it to what you have. But if you just sit down there and you try start throwing stones and things like that, you don't want to know. You know? And when you throw a stone, and when the glass is there, it's going to break the glass. And when the glass is broken, that's it. You know? So the young guys, they are, they are missing something and they are not thinking because most of the time when I meet them I tell them hey hey you need to come because you know you need to have that knowledge because music is language if you don't know the language you travel you, you can't speak the language with them you know so I will do my part I will always because that's my gift that the Almighty gave me and I will always say the right thing and do the right thing because if music is working for me, then it can work for you. What I have, my house, uh, my cars, my travels, and everything, all gave it to me by music. So if music is feeding me at this time of my age, I'm not hungry and things like that, then you know that something good is happening. That you have to come and let me show the way. This is very insightful. I don't, I don't want to go into, you are trending I didn't want to go there, but I don't know if you want to go there. Um, I think you're trending on a, an issue you raised about the Ghana Music uh, Awards and uh, someone took it as and wrote something long on Facebook. I don't want to mention names. Um, kindly, what, what exactly were you trying to uh, insinuate and then people took it as you were hitting back on the VGMA? I was telling that every country has its music. Every country. What are we portraying into the world? We make Ghana Music Awards and things like that, then people from outside, they look at it. 
and they see that the girls, the boys and the boys, the girls are doing dance hall, and they say, so why is that what is being done in Ghana? No, because they are not stupid. They know that dance hall came from Jamaica, and things like so. We portray in the dance hall, the media supporting it, uh, radio supporting it, TV supporting it, and it's like a, a certain, there's a missing link that we're not trying to think to bring it back. So if I, me, senior musician, if I make that remark, they have to find out from me that why are you making that remark? Instead of somebody will get up and say, Mr. Amul is talking nonsense and things like that. Some people, I mean, Mr. Amul is talking nonsense. I'm not talking nonsense. The only thing is, the only one who's want to challenge me is a dead brand. You know, without me, uh, Amulet's name and things like that, his name is sinking. So when he uses Amulet, then people will turn and say, oh yeah, now Amulet this and Amulet that. Now he said he's fed me for 30 years. And uh, you fed me, 30, how old are you to feed me for 30 years? I left the shores of Ghana to go to America when I was, that's 88. 1988, where, how old was he? I came back from America in 2010. How old was he? By fabricating, like, you tell the public that you fed me and so on. So it's like uh, he's, been, he's been instigated, whether it's by uh, Vodafone, Ghana Music Awards and things like that, or I don't know. But they're doing something that is wrong, you know. A senior man is speaking, you have to listen to the senior man. Because um, when you go to Ghana, uh, uh, Senegal, they play Senegalese music. Congo, they play Congo music. Why are we playing dance or why are we doing things like that? So something is wrong. Thank you very much. Go to university, lecturer is your teacher.